Here's what I'm gonna do with you. I'm gonna go feed you to the zombies. Actually, he's gonna turn into a zombie. I better get rid of him fast. Oh, there's one. Hey, buddy, eat this guy. Bloop. No, run. All right, survivors, welcome back to the escapist. Let's hop into the prison with Pablo Punchwood and pick up where we left. Wait a second. That says The Walking Dead, doesn't it? And those aren't prison guards in the background. Those are... Those are walkers. A.K.A. zombies. And that fell up front in the with the hat and the gun. That's not Pablo Punch with the Great Escapist having escaped nine prisons so far. No, no, no. That looks like... It is. It's Rick Grimes. That's a Sheriff Stetson on his head, not a boonie. <laughs> so anyway, welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry if I've confused you. For those of you who are regular viewers, regular subscribers to my channel then you would understand um, everything that I just spewed forth at you if you are new here and you found this through some sort of a search on the interwebs, then welcome. This is indeed the Escapist, the Walking Dead edition. This is a preview copy, an early preview. The game is not out yet. Um, this was given to me by Team 17. They are the, uh, the developer slash uh, publisher on the project. And they have given me the go-ahead to share it right here on my channel as an exclusive for you guys, for your eyes only. This is the PC edition that'll end up on Steam sometime in the future. And that's all I know. I don't know exactly when it's going to be out. But I'll, again, put a link down below to the, their webpage and you guys can keep an eye on it um, from then on. For what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to hop in and get started. We're going to play a little bit of The Walking Dead. The Escape is The Walking Dead, that is, as Rick Grimes in Woodbury. So, a couple of things before we get started. Number one, this is an early preview, so expect some wonkiness. The graphical user interface isn't up to par. There's missing content. There might even be some bugs. Uh, number two, I have to use a gamepad for this because the PC controls, keyboard, and mouse uh, are definitely not up to snuff yet, so I've been advised to use the gamepad. Number three, I'm not very good with a gamepad. I'm uh, mostly a PC gamer. Keyboard and mouse is my middle name. And um, so this could be, it could be a little bit tricky for me. I'm going to try to play at my best if I can with this darn thing, but we'll see how it goes. So hopefully we don't disappoint. Let's hop in and get started right now. We're going to Woodbury. The trio of Rick, Glenn, and Michonne finally reached the helicopter crash site to find no bodies but evidence of the occupants capturing due to numerous footprints. They follow the footsteps. This can't be it. This place looks dead. There's nothing here. You may be right. Get their weapons, guns, knives, all of them. That's the governor. I'll get what I want. How about now? Thwack! Ow. Huh? Oh, uh, my hand. Where did, it, where did it go? Rick, get up. Now. Come on, we've got to go. But the governor cutting off Rick's hand and imprisoning Glenn and Michonne, a mercenary named Martinez, frees Rick from his holding cell. And so it begins. So in The Escape is the Walking Dead, we are actually still escaping a location, but it's not always going to be a prison, though there is a prison map. But we're starting here in Woodbury. What is this place? It appears to be run by some sort of psycho who calls himself the governor. I may have lost my hand, but thanks to Martinez, at least I'm free. First things first, I have to find Glenn and Michonne. There is no way I can leave them behind. Focus, Rick. Focus! All right, so if you follow the TV show, then this is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. If you are a fan of the comic, then uh, this follows much closely to the comic and it may, may make more sense to you. Like, for example, Rick's hand is actually cut off in the comic, but not in the TV series. <laughs> so that kind of threw me for a loop, and that's his shooting hand. As far as I know, he is a righty. Anyway, you can see his stub there, but... Uh, okay, we, we got to focus. Focus, Rick, focus. Let's check the desk. And let's see uh, what we can find in here, and and here we go. Just like, just like in. Uh, actually, we're gonna leave that there. I don't want my soap. No time to wash right now, Rick. Let's just have a look at the stuff. <laughs> so this is very, very familiar right here. Ooh, a sword. We're gonna grab that, of course. Just like in the Escapist, you have a desk. You start in a room, and you can uh, rifle through your desk as well as other people's desks. Take stuff out and uh, and use it. You can do some crafting. We can put this in our hands. I'm pretty sure. So, bear with me as I figure this stuff out, guys. It's my my second time playing. I just played once for about 10 minutes just to get used to the controls and have a look around. Um, so, there we go. All right, let's have a look at the profile here, and then we'll get moving. So, we can craft, just like in the regular Escapist game. We have a profile that looks very similar. Uh, strength, speed, and intelligence. 
We have a journal here, which keeps track of our objectives, quests, and some notes. Bonus items, I think we can collect um, comics, actual comics. Of course, we have, this is fully licensed. We have our controls, options. So we have two main objectives currently, and that's track down and bust out Glenn, and track down and find a way to release Michonne. These are all characters in the actual um, comic as well as TV series. So very cool to see their names here. Woodbury, of course, is a town that is surrounded by zombies. There are also guards here. You can see them outside there. Some are friendly, some are not. We're going to go through Michonne's desk since she's not here. Oh, popcorn! Nice. Save that for movie night. We've got a razor blade. I'm going to grab everything. Radio receiver and the popcorn. And we're going to bring that. Uh, actually, let's go over to this room first. This is Glenn's room, I believe. Yes, it is. Glenn's desk. We'll rifle through this, see what we can find. That's useful. What is that? It's bread. Okay, I thought it was one of those soft taco shells. It's a hacksaw here. It's a tool and a component. And this is chalk, in case we want to go do some play hopscotch or something uh, with, with Martinez. You know, in our free time. All right, let's put this away. <laughs> so I'm going to put... Whoa, hello. Yeah, okay, just getting used to this, guys. Hang on. I'm going to chuck everything, well, except for the hacksaw. Let's carry the hacksaw around, and maybe we can try to cutting through something. Anyway, oh, here's Martinez. You know that we, that when we die, we become them. Yes. If you get bit and you die, you may become a zombie. Hold on, hold up, Martinez. So Martinez has a quest here. He says, Rick, I could really do with a bar barber scissors. Could you get one and bring it to me? He's going to pay us 25 gold coins, apparently, for a barber scissors. Okay. So we will try to find that for him, and that goes into our quests. Awesome. So far, so good. Just like the escapists. Oh, we can read books, too. This is how we gain knowledge. And I don't want to spend too much time actually playing and uh, trying to advance my character. I want to show you guys as much as possible, but just check that out. Isn't that awesome? All right. Let's open up a desk here we find in this room. And it is a metal sheet and a spring. Now we can find crafting notes around, just like we do in the uh, in the escapists, and that'll open up some recipes for us. Now, if I recall, if I if I'm not if I haven't lost my mind completely after losing my hand, yes, we do have a few um, recipes. We have makeshift kosh, which is sort of like a um, a blackjack kind of thing, you know, makeshift blackjack. We have flimsy cutters, and we have a razor claw, which is a weapon. So we can uh, we can actually craft that if we find all the materials. Whoops! Oh, there we go. Wrong wrong shtick. We got the wrong shtick, Martinez. Yeah, let's open up this desk and go through. There's a zombie outside trying to get in. We've got coffee, flowers, depleted radio. Nice. And a teddy. All right. Well, I'm not sure how useful any of this stuff is, but you, you got to go with the coffee, right? All right. This is uh, Martinez's room. Oop up here. Let's just go through his desk. I'm trying to find maybe another weapon. I'd like to find my Colt Python. Oh! Check this out. We've got pliers and a blowtorch. A blowtorch is actually a component. Let's try it. Let's see what we can do with these things here. Yeah, so let's stay positive. So here's what I was looking for. There's a shower here. We can hop in the shower and gain some of our energy back. I don't know why he's flailing so much like that. I'm just scrubbing. Scrubbing away without soap. Alright. Now we can gain um, strength. Oh, there we go. Here's the gym right here. I've seen that before in Escapist, right? You can punch that bag or you can run on the treadmill. Gain strength and or speed, respectively. Um, all right. Let's get outside. At least outside of this building and have a peek around Woodbury. What do you say? Now, we can use some of these tools. Uh, for example, let's try this right now. I'm going to put the hacks on my hands. And you see that green? Cross, but what? Hey, hi! Ow! Dude! I thought we were on the same side. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a living, I'm a living person. Go fight a zombie, you dang fool. Oh man, I'm gonna take this fool out. Watch this. Come on! You want some of this? <clears throat> oh, shank. <clears throat> oh, he's tough. Tougher than he looks. <clears throat> oh, got him. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Ow! Knock me out cold. Yeah, if I had a right hand, you, this would be different. All right, that's all right. Quick nap. That didn't really go as planned, Rick. Nope. <laughs> you need to be more careful. Think about how to deal with combat situations. It was just for science purposes. 
All right. So now it's it's uh, it's morning again. So we get to try it. We get to do this all over again. So unlike in prison, you will uh, the guards will actually take things away from you because you have um, you have contraband, right? In the regular escapist game, and this is no real contraband apparently. I don't know if they take your guns away. We'll have to find out. But the guard just knocked me out, sent me back home, and I get to start over again. Let's let's cut through. Let's see if we can cut through fences. Uh, let's try. On, oh yeah, we can. Here we go. Try from the inside. There we go. He's clipping, 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 or hacking. Let's hacksaw right through here. Actually, can we use this tool too to do the same thing? Oh yeah, we can. Tell you what. Hey buddy, you want to beat me up? I'm Rick Grimes. You can't do that to me. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, let some zombies in. Picking on a guy with one hand. Yeah, hold on, buddy. I'm going to let you in. Oh, oh gosh. Somebody's shooting. So, apparently, this game um, follows the uh, the comics rather than the TV series more closely. And I don't know if I had mentioned that, but yeah. So, Rick doesn't actually uh, get his hand cut off in the TV series. Although, I guess I shouldn't spoil anything for you. TV series or comic. I've never read the comics, but I am a, um, a, a, a huge fan. Hey, buddy. <laughs> look around, man. <laughs> Ow. Hey, get the other guy. He's way tastier. I'm missing a hand. Get him, get him, get him, get him. If I get out of range, then they should attack him. Okay, good. Ooh, he's pretty tough, but not tough enough. All right, we'll let that. Uh, we'll let those zombies maybe wander off, and I can go check the body. Yeah, so I'm actually rewatching the Walking Dead series. Uh, everything before the new season starts up. So I'm on season three right now, which is actually the Woodbury season. So it's quite appropriate for this. I'm so s stoked for this game. Ooh, food rations. I really just cannot wait. Uh, I know I can craft with these two, right? I just need some duct tape. I think that was one of the um, one of our recipes. So obviously I'm a huge fan of the Escapist game as well. And this is kind of a, um, a natural uh, marriage, I suppose you could say. What is this? A gold watch. A tire iron. All right, just different weapons and things. Tire iron looks like a nice weapon. Gold watch. I need to find barber scissors for my friend Martin's. But yeah, when I first heard about the Walking Dead edition of, the, of Escapist, I literally um, jumped and leaped for joy. And went, Ow! Holy mackerel. Why are you shooting? Man, this is like playing DayZ. Shoot first, ask questions later, huh? Bunch of griefers. Get him. Oh, wow. He just wailed on that zombie. So we got guns in this game. That's always fun. There's a big case in there. Let's go in there. Yeah, so I have been actually bugging Team 17 to get me a copy of this to, to share with you guys. And I'm extremely excited and grateful that they provided me with this copy. Um, I think they just wanted me to shut up. Like, just give him a dang copy and make him go away. <laughs> uh, although I have supported the game, the Escapist game, from the very get-go. Oh, here's um, a crafting note. Yeah, let's get this one. Crafting recipe for machine gun. A modified machine gun. Pliers, chisel, and machine gun. Well, I gotta get a machine gun from somebody first. Um, yeah, so, you know, karma, right? I've been sharing Escapist on my channel for some time. If you guys have never seen that, you might want to check it out. I've got an awesome playlist for you. Several playlists, in fact. And I'll put links down below in the description so you can find that easily enough if you'd like to watch. But I will guarantee you I will be playing this. Can I pick that up? Oh, no, I just ate something. Because oh, I didn't have my... What did I eat? Oh, that gave me some health. Okay. Now that's just trash. What are you shooting at? Oh gosh, is he shooting at me? Yeah, the second this game comes out, guys, and I don't know if it's going to be released, released as an early access or just a 100% finished product, um, I will be playing it. You can absolutely guarantee that. And here comes our shotgun friend. Let's go see if there's any bodies around that I can loot. I'm not sure how long they last. How much they stick around. Oh, here's... Oh, no, that's a... That's a dead guy, all right, but he's a dead walker. Ow! Ow! Yeah, he bit me. So yeah, we have some kind of uh, infection status up in the top right-hand corner. You can see my zombie face. So it looks like I'm now 10% infected, perhaps. I don't know if that's dropped, or maybe medicines can be used to um, to reduce it. 
I don't really know. So these are the things we're going to find out once we start playing. But as I said at the beginning of this episode, I'm only able to share a short bit of this. Ooh, ooh, Ruck Shack. Ruck Shack. It's a Ruck Shack! It's a Ruck Shack and a Ruck Shack. And open it. Yo, look at it first. Ruck Shack. Um, so I can only show you so much of this. I can't do a series on it. Even though it seems like it's ready to go, huh? Uh, here's some meds. How about we take another crafting note? Let's see what we can make here. Razor Claw. I already had that one, didn't I? Sure did. All right, let's get out of here, Rick. There's a desk over here. I suppose we go try to find Michonne. That's the whole point, right? Oh, yeah, so we can make some coffee. I know there's coffee in the game, which is excellent. <laughs> there's another purple door up there, so I can't get out that way. We do have to find keys, just like in the Escapists. My guess is the guards have them, and we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to beef up, get stronger, get faster, get better weapons, and then we can um, then we can fight these guards a little more efficiently. And in fact, let's go get a gun right now. I know there is a gun here, and I just have to locate it. Oh, yeah, it's down in that room. I gotta wait for this guy to get out of the way. All right, there it is, right here, gun locker. Yes, I did find this in my first playthrough when I was doing my test. Yeah, baby. All right, this is a little tricky. I've got to get rid of some things. Um, let's get rid of the chocolate ball. Oh, wait. Oh, no, Martin just didn't want chocolate. He wanted chocolate in my first playthrough. And this one, he was looking for, he needs a shave. So I'm not going to deal with that right now. All right, let's put this uh, gun. And here's where the controller is, like, my arch nemesis. Um, it would be a lot easier just to point at something with a keyboard and a mouse and, you know. <laughs> Tis what it is, my friends. This is what's working right now. Again, the game is in development. Things are not complete. So we'll just wait for the keyboard and the mouse. And when it's available, you better believe I will be playing Comb. Hey, good old Comb Shiv. Can I make a Shiv like the old days? Of course, I'm Rick Grimes now. I'm not Pablo Punchwood, so I wouldn't have any sort of memory. Oh, I did! Oh, ooh, someone throwing up out there. I did. I made a, a comb shiv. You rub it against the wall. And what do you get? A weapon. Now, I don't have any inmates around here to share with, unfortunately. Um, but did I just go through this? Yeah, I did. Dang fool. All right, let's go. So I'm still looking for those barber scissors from Martinez. So Martinez is a mercenary working for the governor. Um, but he's... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, let's go shoot somebody. Can I take this guard out? Uh, confirm sighting. Yeah, okay. He does not have a gun. So let's bring him down here where I can get a better shot. What's this? Oh, uh, yeah. So Martinez in the comic, I guess this really does happen. Yeah, come on over here. I'm trying to figure out how to shoot the gun. You bring it up like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I know how to shoot my gun now. Come on, boo. Come on, buddy. Boo. <laughs> Is your name Boo? All right. Left trigger. Up. Right trigger. Shoot. What? Boo. 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 Whoa. Man, he's fast. All right, but you're not going to outrun my bullets, fool. Now, I wonder if I can just... Do I have to be in a straight line? I don't think so. Bow! Bow! Yeah! Dead in! Get his stuff! Rick. He's got a file in his pocket. No key, unfortunately. Dang it! Ah! Here's what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to go feed you to the zombies. Actually, he's going to turn into a zombie. Better get rid of him fast. Oh, there's one! Hey, buddy, eat this guy. Bloop. No, run! Not hungry. You're not hungry, are you? Alright, well, I'm gonna lead him away, come back to that zombie. We're gonna watch him, uh, that body. We're gonna watch that guard turn into a, a walker, as they say. They don't actually ever call them zombies in the TV series. Isn't that kind of uh, interesting? They have a word for every, like, every new pe per person. There is! Every new person you meet, like a new group. Like, uh, they call them, in Woodbury, they call them the biters. Biters. Of course, our our team, our protagonists, Maggie, Glenn, Rick, all them, they call them walkers. Um, geeks. Some people call them geeks. <laughs> but nobody ever uses the Z word. I love it. All right, let's go see if we can't find Michelle. She's been waiting and it's getting nighttime. Um, can I run by this guy? Actually, I know I can't get to them because they're behind a locked door, but we can at least go take a peek. Man, you slow! Alright, this, this place is huge. Woodbury is huge. See here, I think I have to go up this way. There's a blue key I can't get through. Buddy, just give up the race, man. Oh, man. Uh oh These cars are everywhere. 
Oh, this is a, uh, oh I can cut through here and get that. Except that I dropped my cutting tool. Hmm. Oh, this is a stadium. Oh, nice! This is great. Oh, this guard's here too. What the? Uh, hi guys. <laughs> oh, I deked him, kinda. So anyway, you guys get the idea. If you've ever played The Escapist, then obviously this is, um, it should be very familiar and become instantly, you should be very comfortable with it instantly, is what I'm trying to say in so many words. Ow. Who put that flagpole there? Um, oh, dude, you got a gun, don't you? Yeah, he does. Blam. Blam, blam. And they use a comic book. Um, e exclamation words or action words or something, right? No, that didn't really go well. You don't have to remind me. All right, let's put some of this stuff away, and I think we are going to actually call it quits here in a second, guys, because I am just about out of time, and I've shown you enough, I think, so that you get the idea of what the game is all about. And again, this is just sort of an exclusive first look to show you guys how the game is coming along. Mustard? Don't I have a sausage? I better grab that. Food rations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab our mustard for our sausage, and here's Martinez. Now, something strange happened with Martinez once. Oh! I didn't mean to poke you with my... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Rick, let's go. Um, so, I apparently, I can... I can recruit him. Just like you do in The Escapist, you can get, like, your crew. Remember, Punchwood always had his crew? Right, so... But you can have... Catch up soon. Alright, yeah, never mind. Yeah, so we're going to let him go. I don't want him to get killed. Because he, he can't actually get killed. Oh, gosh. Martinez, run! Martinez! Oh, no, they're inside! Run, Martinez! No, don't, don't, no! All right, I got this one. You get that one. Oh, oh, it's tough. Ow! Oh, I'm going to turn to a zombie. Oh, no! Martinez! I got you, buddy. I got you. Oh, wait. What do you got on you? Nothing. Okay, I hit the wrong key. I want to pick him up and go. Ow! Hey, I got to pick him up with A. A key. Right, 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 right. Sure. Got him! Oh, I helped him up. I did. <clears throat> hey, hey, buddy. How about a favor over here? I see. What a jerk. That's it. I'm not going to get you a razor. And now we got zombies inside. <laughs> Let's check the body. Oh, this one's called a roamer. All right, guys. Well, anyway. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? It shows me combat. Oh, no. Martinez, what are you doing? Get up, Martinez. So it looks like you got 30 seconds to revive your friends before they turn into a zombie. I wish I could lock these doors. <laughs> oh, I, I just can't wait for this game, guys. I can't wait for it to be done. Oh, Martinez, I'm so sorry I got you into this mess. All right, at least he's still happy with me. Can I use your shower? Thanks. I don't have one. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess we're going to have to call it quits here. I, th I think I went over the allotted time just a, a, a bit. But uh, can you blame me? I love this game already, and I just cannot wait. So I think we'll call it quits right here. And uh, keep an eye on my channel. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see The Walking Dead when it comes out, then definitely subscribe. And uh, I will be playing it the moment it falls into my lap. All right, guys, I'm back because I want to show you a nighttime. You can see the lights coming on. Sun going down gradually. And now it's night. I also found Glenn. He's down there in the bottom right-hand corner. You see him? Little bald-headed guy. Which is odd because in the TV series, he's uh, a, a very young Korean-American man <laughs> with a lot of hair. <laughs> so I don't know if this is... What the comic book is like. But uh, I'm just not used to a bald Glenn. So there he is. We'd have to break him out, of course. And you can you can sneak around a little bit better at night. A little more efficiently. Um, oh. Because I don't think people can see you as easily. Oh, wait. Ow! Okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> I know in the Escapist prison game, if you stay... Uh, when you walk around at night, if you stay out of the lights... Then you're obviously harder to see. Stick to the shadows when you're walking around. Oh gosh, how did you get in here? Is that Martinez? Martinez, no! Hi, it's me, Rick. Are you in there, Martinez? Oh, there he is. Whew, okay. I thought you were going to. By the way, I have a sledgehammer now. Check this out. Oh, pop. Oh, why is it going after me? Nice work, Martinez. 
All right. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. And once again, if you want to see more and you want to keep an eye on The Walking Dead, um, you can go to the regular uh, website, the primary website for the game. And I'll put a link down below, or you can keep an eye on my channel. I will certainly be playing more of this as it comes out. And if I get an opportunity to play more before the game comes out, I certainly will. So feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out. And I gotta run for my life. Rick's about to get eaten! Alright, we'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.